Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we will finally upgrade our Shattered Wise Elm of Omnipotence. So let's take a look. So somehow it took me forever, forever to have all the new Genesis seed I needed to be able to upgrade this headpiece. Although I did make a few mistakes, uh, when, the, when the DLC first launched, I should have used all my characters that could run the DLC to try to farm for the new Genesis seed, or at least all the characters that were able to get the new Genesis seed. I think you needed combat rating uh, 299 or 300 in order to be able to get the new Genesis seed to drop. So I should have used all my characters that were able to do so and farm and farm to, to be able to get those new Genesis seeds. Um, I don't know if they changed the drop rate, but at some point it seemed like it took forever before one of those new Genesis seed would drop in the game. But finally, after all this time, although in the end uh, I had to purchase uh, 20 G new Genesis seed on the on the broker, uh, I had to spend about 140 millions on the broker to purchase all the new Genesis seed I needed. And I, I purchased also a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, Spark of the Spice Skyland. I think I purchased like uh, five of them. For the potent stage in water, ironically enough, I've had those forever. I have had that forever. So basically you can see we need 30 new Genesis Seas, we need 8 Spark of the Skyland, and we need the 1 stage in water. I'll show you where we can get all those uh, those components soon. Uh, normally I tell people, they get into the habit of always equipping a seal of preservation. Even like in this case, we have 100% chances of, su of success. So any seed is not really needed. Although, uh, do not equip a seal of completion. Don't do that. It will consume the seal. Even if you already have 100 chances of success, it will co consume the seal of completion. And you don't want that. You can still equip, equip the seal of preservation. It doesn't matter. You will keep your seal uh, either way. And also, I always tell to people to equip a seal of preservation so that it becomes a reflex. Because too often I've seen people who lost their, se their, their, their catalyst because they forgot to equip a seal. Or sometimes they will lose a catalyst because they thought that, uh, like sometimes at like 95% chances of, of success, they thought that, oh, there's no way I'm going to fail. They will try to break through. And lose all their catalysts. So I always suggest equip a seal of preservation, turn that into a reflex so that you don't even have to think about it, but do not do that with a seal of completion because it will consume your seal of completion and as you can see in this case we already have a hundred percent chances of success so there's absolutely no need, no need at all to do that. So enough rambling, let us break through. So obviously we've achieved the maximum rank. So once we do that, the helm is ready to be reforged. Perform the final ritual in order to imbue the armor with the power of the sphere of the gods. So let's do that. So you can see it gives us a little feat. Fully repair the shattered wise helm of, omnip of omnipotence. So let's close that. And here you can see the wise elm of omnipotence and the style it will give us the style the goddess of wisdom and also we can see the stats the stats are pretty darn good like right now even though i have the thrall of ekron the headpiece uh, this omnipotence headpiece is still even better than the headpiece i already had as some of you guys were asking not too long ago if it was worth it to still upgrade the elm of omnipotence the answer is a resounding yes so the style is the goddess of wisdom uh, let's take a look at the style so here we see the style there, so let's equip it. Uh, let's remove the face. And let's remove the material so that you can actually see what the style looks like on its own. And let's give it the uh, three colors. Uh, the accessory and the aura were a bit uh, distracting, so here we can see what the helm looks like without any distractions. And I can already hear you ask, where or oh, where can we get the Helm of Omnipotence? Let's take a look. So first, in order to be able to get the Helm, you are going to have to play the, the Wondrous Bounties. And the Helm drops from Athena. So when you defeat Athena here, you will get the Helm. But you will get the version of the Helm that will be like rank 0. And then you will have to upgrade it from there. And also, you have to be combat rating, I think it's 300, in order to be able to, to get the Helm to drop. 
in my legion bounties when i make my my when i made my video about the legion bounties uh you you guys did see when i did get the helm i will put the link to that video in the description down below so that you can see where i got the helm from for some of the components you need you will have to talk to equipment specialist cassandra oh never realized that we can actually purchase the helm here now so you decide either you fight uh, the evil athena and then you get the helm as a drop or you can purchase it from this vendor and then you can see the various uh, some of the components you will need you will need some uh, diluted stygian water you will need some concentrated stygian water and you saw in this video we did use the potent stygian water to be able to upgrade the, the helm and of course you will need some empyrean ether you get the empyrean ether by playing the wondrous bounties so fight and fight and fight the wondrous bounties gather your empyrean ether and then come and see your friend the specialist uh, cassandra to purchase what you need but there are other components also that you will need Let's go to the broker. So one of the components you will need is some new Genesis seed. And you need, just for the last rank, you need 30 of them. Ooh, th 300 million. That's a lot of money. So I was able to purchase two stacks for uh, 70 million each. Uh, two stacks of 10 for 70, 70 million each. And I did manage to farm for the rest, although I had to use multiple characters. Uh, already the drop rate for the new Genesis seed did seem to be low to begin with. And uh, I would suspect that they made it even uh, lower because at some point I, the, the darn thing just won't drop. Although I have to admit, I did not play the Wonderverse missions as much as I should have. So th that it's partly my fault as well. So I could blame the drop rate as much as I like, but the truth is, I should have farmed those missions a lot more. Ah, uh, my bad. So here you can see for the new Genesis Seed, these are supposed to drop in the Temple Source Power, so the solo mission, and the Crypt of Penticilia, which is the 4 player mission. And the other thing you need is the Spark of the Skyland. You can see it starts at... Uh, that also is expensive, it starts at 4.5 million each, and it goes up to 55 million, although for the last rank you need like 8 of them, so it's not that bad because you, you don't have to buy as many. But for the new, the new Genesis Seed, having to buy like 30 of them, that's, uh, that's, that's rough. And for this one, the place where you can get it is in the Fractured God Sphere in the Wonderverse uh, missions. So you decide, either you farm and farm and farm the missions until you get all the catalysts you need, or you bite the bullet and you buy those catalysts from the broker, uh, you decide. And you can see also at the bottom of the description, wearing this and other pieces of Elite Gear will activate your currently installed Affinity Generator mods that requires Elite Gear. So right now, it's as if I had four pieces of Elite Gear. Uh, let's go check. So I have the, the face piece, I have the, the head piece. I should have two rings, but uh, I've been a bit of a slacker. I didn't get the rings uh, just yet. Uh, once I got the speed ring and the Legion ring, I didn't see the, really the point of getting the, the Elite ring. But um, I, might, I might have to get those anyway. And I did get also the Elite Weapon. Uh, there's probably one other thing Elite that I have that I, I completely forgot about. But basically it counts as if I had 4 pieces of Elite Gear. So you can see if I have 2 pieces of Elite Gear, it gives me 1% uh, extra Vitalization. And if I get 4 pieces of Elite Gear, I get another 1% 1, 1 of Vitalization. And if I was able to get 6 pieces of Elite Gear, it would increase my critical, critical power magnitude. And if I was able to, eight, to get 8 pieces of Elite Gear, my group power yield would give extra power to me and my group. And again here you can see the difference between uh, the Thrall of Ekron headpiece and the Omnipotence headpiece. So you can see the, uh, the defense uh, is quite substantial, the health, all the stats have uh, quite a substan substantial upgrade if you use the, the helm. So for those of you who are wondering, is it still worth it to get the, the Omnipotence helm? The answer is yes, absolutely. So in the end, there you go guys. Uh, finally, I was able to upgrade the helm. Heck, I was able to upgrade the Omnipotence face mask before I did the helm. That, that's crazy, but sadly, sometimes that happens. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now. Bye-bye.